working to get answers after a KCK police officer shot and killed 25-year-old Amaria Henderson. The Kansas City, Missouri Police Department investigated the shooting and have turned the case over to the Wyandotte County District Attorney. And KNBC 9's Jackson Kurtz joins us live in KCK with an update on the case and what the Henderson family is saying tonight, Jackson. Well, we learned at the Unified Government's Law Enforcement Advisory Board that Wyandotte County District Attorney Mark Dupree just received that file today and hasn't had a chance yet to review it. Meanwhile, Henderson's family and attorneys are just asking for transparency in this case. Henderson's attorneys say on that night a couple weeks ago when he was pulled over at 12th and Metropolitan, Henderson was unarmed. He had just completed his last door dash with his girlfriend in the passenger seat when they said the un an unnamed KCK officer escalated the traffic stop. The Attorneys say the officer uh, struggled with Henderson while he was still sitting in the driver's seat and had his mom on FaceTime. They say the officer shot through the car window with shots hitting Henderson's left jaw and left arm that entered his chest. Henderson's mother and family have been pleading to see the body camera footage from that night. District Attorney at Dupree says they will get a chance to see it. It's Mother's Day. I'm a mom. I could not even begin to try to imagine the pain that she feels from losing a child to violence, to violence from an officer, knowing that he was unarmed and just trying to get home from door dashing. What's worse is that she heard it and saw it. She was on FaceTime. These are images and sounds she can never get out of her head. And KCK Police Chief Carl Oakman also spoke today via Zoom, but didn't get into the details of this case. Still lots of questions from folks, especially about KCK's use of force policy and why KCPD in Missouri were asked to investigate this crime instead of KC, uh, K KBI in Topeka. Now, no timeline right now if any decision will be made for those charges here in Wyandotte. Live in KCK, Jackson Kurtz, KMBC 9 News. All right, and we will be following both of these stories closely. You can get updates around the clock by downloading our KMBC 9 News app. You can also follow along at KMBC.com.